are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. You know what, guys? When it actually comes to sports, you have to work really, really hard for no one to like you. Even the most hated athletes out there still have somewhat of a fan base. But when it comes to one Bubba Wallace, man, I don't think this man has one single fan. Bubba Wallace is um, actually one of the people that actually uh, blew up this channel back in 2020. Uh, back in um, 2019, we started this channel. And then a year later, the world went crazy. The sports world went crazy. And Bubba Wallace was one of the first ones to launch this channel. And then, as they say, it's been history ever since then. So we need to actually uh, revisit Bubba Wallace now. After all these years, man, the NASCAR fans just don't like this man. I don't blame them because what this man did, man, he tried to create a race hoax with a with a garage door pull in a garage. He thought it was put there on purpose. Now, however, every single garage actually has a garage door pull. He called it a noose. They got the FBI involved and the FBI wasted their time. That garage door pull had been in that um that garage for like, what did they say, nine months to a year? Yeah, this man made up the whole thing. He was Jesse Smouye before Jesse Smouye. Which one actually happened first? I don't even remember, to tell you the truth. I think uh, Jesse Smouye happened first. But he took a page out of uh, Ju Juicy Smouye and created this hoax. And the NASCAR fans have not forgotten that. This man is despised. And then also at that, guys, he's not a very good driver. This man, he doesn't win. Bubba Wallace, man, is a loser. And a race holzer, man. This man is super woke. And I love um, putting um, Bubba Wallace in the thumbnail with um, his I can't breathe thing. You know, the homage to um, the criminal that was uh, George Floyd. Yeah, he was all about that BLM stuff, man. And BLM stole all that money from people and did nothing for the black community. Hopefully that's a wake up call. Hopefully we don't have any more of these uh, BLM uprisings, guys. But um, let's go ahead and get into um, this story here. Because Bubba Wallace at the NASCAR All-Star Race got some of the biggest boos you will see. Nobody likes this man. Let's get into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. We appreciate the support. So here we go. Look at this, guys. Bubba Wallace gets booed, cursed by NASCAR fans. Like I said, man. You got to be something special to have like no fans. They don't like this man. And I do not blame them. It says here, they say time cures all ills. However, if the reception Bubba Wallace received at the track on Sunday is any indication, NASCAR fans are still plenty mad at Bubba Wallace. Yeah, they should be. In the summer of 2020, Bubba Wallace claimed someone left a noose in his garage in an apparent hate crime. The ensuing controversy even brought or brought even more ants and tension to an already ants and tension filled summer. Yeah, that was summer of love. Remember? Anyway, a literal federal case was made out of Wallace's claim and 15 FBI agents who had far better things to do in the summer of the craziest year in recent human history, concluded that the noose in Wallace's garage was a pull rope to close the garage door. Yeah, Bubba Wallace made all this stuff up, man. 
Uh, the episode did not endear the Alabama native to NASCAR fans one bit. And the bad feelings evidently remain. Fast forward to Sunday's NASCAR all-star race in uh, North um, Wiltsboro, North Carolina, where Wallace was introduced to a crowd that, let's say, was less than welcoming. Yeah, less than welcoming to say, say for sure. Let's watch this crowd reaction when um, Bubba Smouye is introduced. Let's play it. And that's the scumbag right there. Yeah. Nobody likes this man. Nobody likes Bubba Wallace. Wallace, who was on wearing a body cam, then bravely left the stage to get up close and personal with the fans. And uh, what does it say here? Guess who lost the fan boat? Yeah. L let's watch this other clip here, guys. Let's play it. Nice knowing y'all. <laughs> Here we go, boys. Oh, let's say a prayer, boys. <laughs> so, man, the booze are raining down. Bubba Wallace, man, the race holster himself. He's not doing himself any favors, man. First thing, he's not good. He's not likable. And everything, man, has to be about race to this man. That's pretty pathetic, man. Are you actually a fan of Bubba Wallace? If you're watching this channel, I, I probably highly doubt that you are a fan of of one Bubba Wallace, man. The guy just can't get out of his own way, man. That was a lot of booze. Think of one of the most hated athletes out there. And I'm pretty sure there are actually more fans of um, that person than Bubba Wallace. Even LeBron James, as much as we actually come down on him, he actually does have a fan base. Bubba Wallace, not so much. I believe, uh, was it last year I did a video? Where they actually um, did the ranking of um, the most likable NASCAR drivers or the most hated. I don't remember. But Bubba Wallace is like way at the top for the most hated. I mean, nobody likes this man. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.